Orc Horn. Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to set up the Slam Soundboard for Counter Strike and other Source Engine games on the Windows 10 operating system. To get started, fire up your favourite browser and then search for the Source Live Audio Mixer. And from there, what you want to do is head over to slamflankers.net. So this is where we'll be downloading it from. This is the official site. Grab the latest version. Then so I choose somewhere to save that you'll be able to find yourself again later on. You can save this anywhere, desktop, wherever. I'm just going to save it in here. So I've got some files already set up and I've already downloaded it. Save a bit of time. So we'll head over there and get started. So from here what you want to do is you want to extract the contents of that folder into your main directory. Once they are loaded up here, just go and run the exe. It depends on your user access control, you may be presented with this little pop-up. Feel free to just click yes. And then once that's done, Slam will start running. So from here, just close those windows. From here you get a drop-down list of all the supported games. Uh, we'll be keeping on Counter-Strike because that's what I'm going to be playing with. What I want to do is I want to change the play key, so this is the key that in-game will trigger uh, your audio something that I know that doesn't get used by Counter-Strike. It's important that you don't set this to like say W because then you won't be able to move forwards. Uh, having done that what we're going to do next is actually import our audio into Slam itself. So I'm just going to select all these. This is just mp3 files that I prepared earlier on. And hit OK. And that will bring them in. Once they're in what you can then do is you can actually set volumes for them individually so depending on if they sound too loud or not loud enough in the game you can tweak each one separately to get the right sound for you. Another nice feature is you can actually quick uh, like hotkey them as well. So for example, I love this one if I do manage clutch on rare occasions, so what I want to do is I want to bind it to a key. I'm going to use M because it's one that I don't use myself in-game. So when I do want to play it, I can hit M and hit play and it'll go straight to that without having to navigate any other menus. So once you've done all this, you're ready to go. You can hit start first time you do this you'll get a pop-up reminding you to XX Slam in the console. Otherwise you can hit OK and it'll remind you each time or if you click cancel you won't see this message again. So I'm going to hit cancel and I'm going to jump into Counter Strike and show you how the rest of the setup goes. Once you get into game you'll need to have access to your developer console. If you don't already have that set up just jump into game settings and make sure this setting here, enable developer console, set yes. If you want to change the the default key for that as well. It's just at the very bottom of your, cons uh, your control settings there. This key here is normally found just above the tab button, so I'll be leaving as it is. So if you pop open your console, type in exec slam, you're good to go, then type in LA, I think of it as list audio, and you can see everything that's set up there. So with that, you're then able to quite simply pick something, and then with the key you set to play earlier on, play in game. Or if you remember I set my uh, keyboard shortcut as well for uh, my victory music, if I press that key now and then the play button, and his name is John C. you can get to it quickly without having to go through the menu. So uh, yeah that's it for Slam, it's pretty straightforward, it doesn't take much to get you set up and running. Hope you can have some good fun with that. and. Uh, Take care and I'll catch you again another time. Bye guys. Oh, and one last thing while I remember as well, for people that are interested, Slam also installs a file to uh, your app local data. So in here it's just basically it's where it saves user config stuff. So you can pop up and have a have a look to see what's going on here. Just get an idea of all uh, a lot of what's behind the scenes. The other thing that I do like about Slam in particular is the fact that it's open source, so if you wanted to you can go to github uh, oops. What I do like about it is because it's open source you can uh, jump onto github and have a look at the source code yourself, uh, you can download it, you can adjust it, uh, you can tweak it to better suit you and then just compile it for yourself uh, on your computer. So if you want to do that Slide over to Git and then you can have a look at what really goes on behind the scenes.